good morning and happy last day of February. I have always loved March because the weather starts turning for the better, flowers start blooming, and days start getting longer. Today, as I'm finally on my last day of my February challenge, I wanted to do a little March reset and goal setting. The last month of posting every single day has been a wild ride, and needless to say, I'm ready for a new month. As I was thinking about making this video, I decided I wanted to make something that was super realistic for my 9 to 5 friends because when I was a corporate girly, I would see influencers or business coaches, etc. talk about how you should set new monthly goals, blah blah blah, and I was always like, that's great for you, but after a month or week of mentally exhausting work, I don't have the mental capacity to think about monthly goals for myself. So. That made me think I wanted to provide a suggestion for how you can still do a little monthly reset without it taking a ton of your time or mental energy. So that suggestion is to come up with one thing, one small thing that you can do tomorrow on March 1st before work, at your lunch break, or maybe while you make dinner that is intentional and that you know will make you feel refreshed. For me, some things that help clear my mind and make me feel refreshed are going for a walk outside, which helps me get some fresh air, get some sunshine, get some movement in, and especially because I know my dog loves going for walks too. Spending time with a good friend who helps make me laugh and fills my cup. Picking up a really good book and having a few hours to myself of reading. A slow night to myself in the bath with my book and a candle. Other ideas could be making yourself a healthy dinner, getting a workout in, or calling an old friend or family member. Once you've decided what your one thing is, I want you to plan a time for you to intentionally do this tomorrow. Just do the one thing. I think this will help you feel better and make you feel like you also had a realistic but impactful reset. Let me know in the comments once you decide what you want to do tomorrow for your short, sweet, and realistic March reset. Now let's talk about setting goals. Setting monthly goals can be a great way to check in with yourself, see how you're doing from the goals you may have set at the beginning of the year, or kick off something new. There's no time like the present to get started. But I know you are busy. Maybe you have kids that take up a ton of your time and energy. You work a nine to five job and are exhausted by the time you're done with work for the day. You still get to the gym and are working hard at staying healthy. With everything going on, you barely even have time for a social life. I honestly get it. You don't have time to sit down and brainstorm a bunch of monthly goals for yourself. So here's my suggestion. When you're doing your one task tomorrow, such as your walk outside, spend a few minutes thinking about one goal for yourself for the month. Maybe that one goal is to go on three walks outside per week. Maybe that one goal is to call your parents or your grandparents at least three times this month. Maybe that one goal is to just read one book. Make it simple and achievable, but something that you aren't already doing. Let me know in the comments what you decide for your one goal. Here are a few goals that I am setting for myself. I expect to have a little more time since I won't be posting every day on YouTube. So I want to actually work on my side hustles, such as my Etsy business because I wasn't really able to do this during my February challenge. Instead of focusing on running, which was one of my goals last month, I want to start incorporating more high intensity interval training into my workout. I also want to continue going to the gym five times per week. I made this goal in February and I think I made it to the gym five times per week, two out of the four weeks. I also really want to prioritize my total steps per day. On average, I usually get about 11,000, so my goal for March is going to be 15,000 steps per day. I did still want to have a goal around my YouTube channel, so my goal this month is to prioritize making a lot of YouTube shorts. And lastly, of course, I had to make a reading goal for myself, so my goal in March is to read five books. So these are all of the goals I made for myself in March, and I would love to hear what yours are as well. 
I hope you guys enjoyed that little monthly reset and monthly goal setting. I'm excited to share with you the results of my February challenge. It was definitely a tough month and I am excited to be in March where I can focus a little bit more of my energy on the quality of my videos, the editing, and a little bit less on the quantity. I'll be sharing the results of my February challenge either end of this week maybe, if not early next week. And going forward, I will be posting two, maybe if I'm lucky, three times per week. So you can look out for a new posting schedule starting next week. But I hope you guys enjoyed my February challenge, all of the videos I posted over the last 28 days. I know it was a lot. If you haven't watched them all, go binge watch my channel. <laughs> and I hope you also enjoyed this realistic monthly reset with me. Happy March and beginning of spring. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out the link above where I've linked my entire reset and routines playlist.